everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yes, today we're going to do a DIY. Yes, we are. We're going to make a um, Christmas decor. I almost said Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, if you've been around a while, you'll know that one of my favorite Christmas decors is gingerbread decor. Yes, now I don't like the taste of gingerbread but I love the gingerbread decor, yes. Now, last year I picked up these um, window clings of the gingerbread men, and I did have them on my window last year. But, of course, I saved them. I peeled them off my window and put them in a sandwich bag and threw them in with all my other Christmas stuff, figuring eventually I'll come up with an idea to use them, either put them back on the windows again this year, or make something out of it and this time around we're gonna make something out of it at least we're going to try yes so I'm gonna bring you on down and show you my idea of what we're gonna well first I'll show you what you're gonna need you're gonna need some window clings or something you know to put something you're gonna need a picture of something I find it if it's plastic it it works better yes and you're gonna need a plate I got this clear plate and it looks kind of dirty that's because I was playing with it earlier and I was trying to put glitter on it and stuff but then the glitter looks stupid and so I was I had to scrape all the glitter off it so now the plate looks kind of dirty and my I ruined my thumbnail scraping it all off but oh well and then you're also gonna need Mod Podge and I got the Mod Podge here I'm hoping it's still good because this is old I'm sure it'll be fine. And then you're going to need a paintbrush or a sponge. I got a sponge. So, I'm going to pour some of this Mod Podge. I got these little cups I bought. Ow. If I'm going to get it open. My hands are weak and this is strong. It's actually glued. It's glued shut. How did I do that? So I'm going to kind of just go around the rim of it with my tweezers. And I'll be back once I'm able to get it open, if I'm able to get it open. And I got something going on here. Ew. I'll bring it down. You can watch me try to open this Mod Podge. Maybe you'll enjoy watching. My struggles, because my struggle is real. Can I get it open now? Aha, there we go. We got it. It's still white, so I'm guessing it's still good. We're going to just peel off this old Mod Podge. That is dried to the sides. At least now you know if you take something and scrape it out, then you'll get it out. Yes, it's making sure I'm on camera. I'm going to pour a little bit into this cup because we won't need a lot. And I'll use my finger to wipe it off. There. So this time around, it's not going to go glued shut. Good thing about Mod Podge, it does dry clear. So it'll first appear white. But it does dry clear. So we'll have to like go away from this video while it dries. And then the ending will be showing you, you know, what it looks like once it's dry and all that good stuff. So first we're just going to put a good, nice, generous layer down on the plate where the gingerbread man is going to go. And then we're just going to put the gingerbread man. Oh, that's fine. But the, make sure we got enough on there now. Let's do the whole bottom make sure there is plenty for the little gingerbread guy to stick to. Yes. I'll put it in the cup and kind of, there we go, lean it against the tripod. That works. So there, I'm going to kind of center it because we want him centered in the middle of the plate. Yes. And then we're just going to put a layer over the top of them to keep them in place because we don't want him falling off the plate. Kind of get a nice thin layer over him. 
Don't need to do all of him because it's just the sides that we want to get. A nice firm covering. And so I also have these cute little star cookies that we're also going to put on right here on the side. So we'll just put a thing like that and then put a little star in there. Get it fit in there perfectly. That works. Make sure it's flat on there. And then we'll just kind of dip it on there. Just trying to get it covered. And then I'll put another one kind of right here. Yep, I didn't get that one on there well. So I'm going to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Oh well, that's what I get for not doing it correctly the first time. There. Now we have to turn this baby. At least I know he's on there good. Yes, I do. And we'll go ahead and put the other one on. Put that one about right here, I think. I think that's a good spot. There. And I'll just move it around a little bit, make sure it's got a nice sticky. Yeah, this one's good. This one here, is, I guess I got too much on there. But yep, now we need to let it all dry. And then once it's dry, I'll have my gingerbread plate decor. And I'll have to buy a plate thingy. I know they have them at the Dollar Tree so that I can put my little decor up. But of course, you can't use this. This is only for decoration, yes. And I'm just keep pushing this and making sure it's staying down flat. It's gonna move it around a little bit. Just to get it in there good. And I think, I think it'll stay down. Yeah, get my fingertips all up in there. I'm just going to kind of go over it. Get my fingerprints out of there. I don't want my fingerprints in it. No, I don't. Now I did do something similar to this for Halloween, but I didn't film it, which is a pity because it turned out really good. But that was my test run on it. I didn't use window clings. I used, um, what do you call them? A treat bag. And I cut out what the scene I wanted out of the treat bag. And that was the plan with this. I was going to use the Santa Claus treat bag. But then I found these gingerbread pieces and I was like I'm gonna do those instead because you all know how much I love my gingerbread yes I do well my gingerbread decor but we'll come back when it's dry and see exactly how it looks like um with the other one I did the Halloween one it did disappear and it's just it turned out really well which I was quite surprised by and so I'm hoping this the other one I did on a white plate this is obviously on a clear plate so you know we'll just wait and see maybe I'll have to go through and do the entire plate in the Mod Podge because it might look weird if I don't maybe I will do that just cover the entire plate with the Mod Podge so it all looks the same when it dries yeah I'm just going over it real quick with the Mod Podge and covering the entire plate. Because like I said, I'll bring you down so you can watch me paint the entire plate. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I got most of it done. Yeah, the, the cup is uh, what I dumped out or rather in the cup is almost gone so I'm kind of using what's on the brush to cover up the rest of this plate so 
just going over it with a thin layer I'm trying to get whatever's in the bottom of this thing because I don't want to dump out more I'll just dab it like this then I could spread it We don't want to keep the that. We just want to. We don't want to keep those marks. I'm just gonna spread them out. Spread out anything. I'm trying to get those glops out of there. So it's smooth sailing. Okay, so now it should all look the same. And I can always go through with some glitter if, poss if necessary. Put a little bit of glitter on there and go from there. I made a rhyme. I made some rhymes. These little cups are nice. I can reuse them once that once the Mod Podge dries, I can reuse the cup. For more Mod Podge, carefully lift you up, because I'm being lazy and not untight, unloosening my thingamabob. My thingamabob. Okay, there. So we'll be back once this is dry to see how it turned out. So I'll see you then. Yeah, hi everybody. Yeah, we are back with the decorative gingerbread decor plate that we've been working on. And let me grab it. Now, as you can see, you can no longer see the um, the Mod Podge. And that's because I went and scraped it all off with my fingernail. <laughs> I went and scraped off the Mod Podge with my fingernail because it just looks stupid. It was bad. I think if you were to use a white plate, the Mod Podge would work fine. Because my experiment with the other one that I told you about in the first part of this video was on a white plate. But this is a clear plate, obviously. But what I did is I went through and I just scraped off all the Mod Podge, wiped off any that was still wet. And then, you know, the, um, the backs of these were still a little tacky with the glue. I didn't wipe the backs of these off. And as you can you can see here, they're still a little wet. But I just left just a little bit on the back of these. I didn't do anything over the top of them. And I put them on here. And this, this is as good as it's going to get. Yes, it is. So I suggest you not do what I did in the first video just you know put a little bit on the back of these and then stick them to the plate and hopefully um, maybe even put a little bit of you know E6000 on the back or tacky glue and put it on the back to you know make sure they stick to the plate and they don't fall off when they dry but they seem to be stuck pretty well they're not bubbling up or anything but I think this turned out really cute Yes, I need to go to Dollar Tree to get me a plate holder so I can put it up on my shelf behind me for some Christmas decor. Yes, I did try doing some glitter on the edges, but it looked really stupid. So I think I already told you that because I scraped it off with my thumbnail and ruined my thumbnail. It used to be much longer than that. But yeah, so that's it. That's my cute gingerbread plate. So... Thank you very much for watching. Hold on. They are. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here, smack dab in the middle of the video will be this face. Click on it if you want to subscribe. Here and here will be a couple links to a couple of my videos if you want to go check them out. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.